Hi guys, my name is Susanna. I'm an international student at the University of Sterling and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy recipe for students and these are my friends who are going to help me cook today. <laughs> so these are our ingredients. We have parmesan cheese, aubergines, peppers, courgettes, basil, salt, pepper, paprika, tomato passata and olive oil. So to start, you're going to cut up your veg. I like cutting mine in quite big chunks because I like the texture of the veg in the sauce. But if you're someone who likes a more smooth sauce, you could cut the veg really small or you could even blend the sauce afterwards. I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know in the comments if you decide to try this at home. This is a really easy recipe for students to make because essentially all the work that you're doing is just cutting up the veg and leaving it in the oven for like 30 to 40 minutes. I only learned how to cut peppers like this recently and it's honestly a game changer because little goes to waste and it's just so much easier to cut off the white parts. It ended up being a lot of veg so I just got another tray and divided it up. Then you're just gonna pour some olive oil, some paprika, some salt and pepper onto the vegetables and you can mix this with a spoon but I find it more efficient to just mix it with your hands but don't worry my hands were washed before this then you're gonna add a full head of garlic and if you don't want to add a full one you'll be missing out because this adds so much flavor so that's just me mixing it up then you pop the garlic in the corner there drizzle with some olive oil and some salt Then you clean up the rubbish while your oven is preheating and then I just drizzle some more olive oil on top and I completely forgot to add the basil so I washed the basil and added it on top. Uh, I could have potentially mixed it in as well but I was too lazy to do so so I just left it on top but it's fine. So yeah, in they go. You can leave it in the oven for about 20 minutes now and then you're gonna take it out, give it a mix, add some more olive oil if you think it's dry. I didn't this time, but you're just gonna mix it all up again and put it back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes more. At that point you can start cooking your pasta as well. So here we have Dan and he's doing the hardest job. I'm Which making is... cheese small. <laughs> Really difficult guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's grating the cheese. Um, is that enough? No, because we love <laughs> cheese. <laughs> we put the tomato passata. Try not to shake when I laugh. <laughs> it's a hard job. Being a cameraman is hard. It's tough. It's so it's tough. tough. <laughs> right, and then we put I just salt. Can't in. stop making myself laugh. <laughs> Peppers. Peppers. Get the veggies. Whoa, Ooh. this is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. Veggies. <laughs> hot. Hot, hot. Whoa. It's sizzling out here. Right now, we put that in there. And we can probably add some more passata to it as well. And then you're going to squeeze that garlic out and put it in the pot as well. And give it a good mix. And that's it, ready to serve. Also, this was enough to serve five people, just so you guys know in terms of ingredients and quantities. Is it controversial to have the sauce on the side of it? I think it is really controversial, so I just didn't allow that to happen. And that's it, ready to eat. And then you just sprinkle some parmesan or a lot of parmesan on top. Bon appétit! Bon appétit. Rating? Mm. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Solid. 10 out of 10. <gasps> really? really? Oh wow! Mm. Very yummy. 